Hello everybody, welcome to Talk and Babies. I'm Dr. Nupur Ghosh. Many of my patients often come to me with the queries about their baby's teeth. They ask me, ma'am, when do we start brushing their teeth? Which is the best toothpaste or toothbrush? Why do our children, they are getting cavities? What's the reason? How do we prevent that? So on and so forth. So I thought, why not share my knowledge with you people so that your children also, they have perfect oral hygiene. So let's start. Now, the first question which I would like to answer here is, when do we start brushing our baby's teeth? The answer to this is right after birth. So this is called the stage 1 cleaning. Now, how do we do that? We either take a muslin cloth or a cotton gauze piece. Before that, properly clean your hand. Now, wrap that cotton uh, gauze or the muslin cloth on one of your fingers and gently clean the baby's gums, both the lower and the upper one. This is very important because this cleaning is going to affect the milk tooth which are going to come. If we don't take proper care of the oral health now, uh, the milk tooth which come, they may have cavities. So it's very important here. Now the second uh, stage which comes here, that is around uh, say 4 or 5 months or maybe 3 months also, the babies they start teething here. Now that teething phase is actually very painful both for the parents as well as the baby. They have got really sore gums. So what we bought for Jashvi then was this. This is the banana brush. It's super cute one and the babies actually love this. Now as you can see here, it has got this really soft bristles uh, which actually help to soothe the sore gums. The babies tend to bite on it, they keep on chewing on it and uh, it actually helps to uh, uh, cure the soaring gums as well as the cleaning purpose. Now, some babies also have one of the tooth erupted uh, at around 5 or 6 months. So, uh, this banana brush pretty well takes care of cleaning of that tooth as well. Now, around uh, say about uh, 7 to 8 months, when uh, one or two teeth have erupted, you can introduce the actual toothbrush to your babies then. And uh, we introduced this, I will show you, Chico toothbrush and I think I really like this product. What I liked about this was the bristles as you can see they are pretty soft very gentle on baby's gum. The head is small so that it can go to the back of the mouth for full cleaning of the mouth. The length of the bristles is pretty good again for the cleaning purpose. Then as the babies they don't have such a perfect grip so the grip of this toothbrush by Jashvi was so good I was very happy with that she could easily grasp it. Uh, they have some rubber dots here which help in the easy grasping of this brush. So this brush all in all I really liked as the first toothbrush for your babies. The paste we introduced was this, again the Chico one. We took apple banana flavor, uh, it's written 6 months plus. Now this is a perfect uh, toothpaste, it's uh, low on abrasive formula. So gentle on baby's mouth, it has got xylitol which helps in uh, prevention of the cavities and uh, it has got no fluoride so it was perfect for baby to start brushing. Now see some extra points I would like to add on here are how do you brush? Now you brush baby's teeth in small circular gentle motions. See it has to be like this circular. Okay. See, for adults it is like this, this motion is recommended, but for uh, babies it is circular motion. Keep that in mind. Secondly, brush your baby's teeth twice, that is once in the morning and once at the night after the last meal or the last drink of the baby. Both the brushing are very important for the future dentition. The next point is, uh, babies are sometimes reluctant on brushing, they don't want to brush, they spit up, they do this, that and we parents, we lose our thing, okay, no, okay, my child is not brushing, this, that. Don't worry, I mean give baby some time, have patience. What you can do, two things you can try here. One of the things, give baby the command, give baby the brush and okay just wait. You will find slowly the baby is putting the brush inside the mouth. Secondly, what you can try out here is uh, you can brush in front of your baby. Babies are so good at imitating. You are brushing and the baby is also brushing. So these are the two things you can try and uh, see just give up to one year or one and a half year, two years. You'll find up to two years, the baby is very perfect in brushing their teeth. So, not a problem, but you always have to give a helping hand so that he learns faster. The next point would I, I would like to say is, uh, uh, many parents come to me and say, 
my baby uh, tooth has not erupted only one tear tooth is there only two teeth are there so don't worry on that every baby is special uh, the, there is a particular time when the tooth erupts but it can be one or two months late or one or two months early so you don't have to worry on that by about two and a half to three years 20 milk tooth are gonna appear and they will appear don't worry if it delays after that you have to call the dentist now the next question frequently asked to me is how do we avoid cavities and why do our babies get cavities cavities is a layman uh, term the scientific term to this is caries so basically uh, see there are two reasons why our babies they get caries the first is poor oral hygiene so i told you the entire process how to brush which brush to use so twice a day so do that for your babies so that caters for poor oral hygiene the second point is high sugar content in the baby's meal see basically sugar is not good either for the adults or for the babies so try to cut out if you're giving also try to cut out that sugar thing in your baby now what you can do some of the uh, points i want to advise here is uh, first of all don't give whole day at like after one other baby's taking sugary drinks or the sugary meals don't do that if at all you're giving also just fix it try giving sugary meals after the main meal why because after the main meal your mouth is secreting a lot of saliva now if after that a baby is taking a sugary drink or a sugary meal that saliva is going to neutralize the acid which is being produced by this why acid is being produced see what happens whenever we are taking a sugary meal that sugar combines with the bacteria in the mouth and produce acid and this acid is actually damaging your tooth and creating the cavities so what we are doing is when we are taking it after a meal so we uh, a little bit we are neutralizing it uh, secondly instead of sugary snacks i've seen uh, giving biscuits or candies to babies try giving some healthy snacks turn on to some healthy options now what would be the healthy options out here you can try plain yogurt that is dahi uh, you can add some chopped fruits in that secondly you can go for oatmeal that's a very healthy option and babies actually love that with jashvi it works pretty well uh, oatmeal you can with oats uh, you can try peanut butter that's also a healthy option other than that give some fresh fruits not juices i'm not talking about the juices i'm talking about fresh fruits you can give cooked vegetables so there's so many options you can even try eggs they are high on protein you can even try cheese now cheese is very healthy and cheese is very good for the oral health as well so these are various healthy snacks uh, basically you should turn upon uh, instead of sugary snacks other than that if i would not recommend it, recommend giving fruit juice to your babies if at all you want to give just dilute it with water 10 parts water one part juice that's the dilution level so because you know what happens these juices and all they stick to the tooth of the baby and they're very damaging so instead of fruit juice prefer the whole fruit the pulp is going inside that's more beneficial okay um, what you should avoid is here the squashes and all have to be avoided the fruit juice i told you and uh, don't give that chocolates and ice creams to your baby once or twice in a blue moon is okay but not so often okay that was it uh, um, one more advice to you if your baby has turned one year stop using bottle and encourage your baby to use a cup instead use a cup so what whatever your baby's the drinking you, the teeth are getting less exposed to that drink the uh, drink is actually going inside the tummy altogether but if the baby is using a bottle there's a lot of exposure to the teeth to that sugary meals or the sugary drinks whatever so try and turn to a cup that's what i'm saying after one year you can uh, give baby water a lot water is very good for health also after one year and uh, it also rinses the mouth so helps in prevention of the caries now this was uh, some of the ideas how you can take care of the baby's tooth and trust me uh, if these things are taken care of cavities are not going to appear now uh, how do you know cavities are appearing and when do you go to the dentist see first of all if there's any kind of discoloration any kind of brown black 
or this pitting you see small pits a very small pit on your baby's tooth that's the uh, sign of a cavity formation or a caries so that's the time you should visit the dentist uh, very fast don't delay because these spread at a very fast rate and you would not know also when your child has just lost the tooth now how do you introduce the baby to a dentist see i would recommend when you go for your regular checkups just take your baby to the dentist because the dental uh, this thing the dental clinic sometimes the babies they get terrified with the sight they get terrified with the white coat they get terrified with the sound and so many things so uh, it's advised that whenever you are going to a dentist for your regular uh, checkup just take your baby as well and the baby will get accustomed to all these kind of environment now baby has to go to a dentist for checkup after one year for sure or you can also take uh, the baby after the first tooth erupts now get that in habit after every six months or after a year you have to go but i would suggest after every six months get the proper uh, dental checkup done uh, so that any cavity formation any caries any mal alignment that the tooth is this that all the things they can be checked and treated properly so that was it just brush twice nothing is gonna happen for sure this is the best thing so uh, you can just post all your dental questions especially i'm here to answer you can post on our comments section and uh, i hope that you liked our video if you like it just click on that subscribe button please subscribe to talk with babies keep up your health keep your up your baby's health take care of the teeth they are very important take care bye